Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Auburn Tigers and the Iowa Hawkeyes. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Hawkeyes could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Secondly, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The small forward with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if he can convert. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Gets two at the charity strike. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They go into the low block. He attempts a jump hook. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Down inside, top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. They still don't score. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He dials long distance. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Now trying to feed the low block. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Sucker out of the game, man. And up and gets it to fall. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. The center in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to feed the low block. With anticipation defensively. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Got a nice screen. 
Trying to draw the foul. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the outside, the shooting guard gets the ball. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. And the ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of bounds. Line, they'll bring it out on top. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. High post flashes. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Tries for two. He hits the shot. Set that screen away. The Hawkeyes have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work it around the perimeter on the inside. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. For two, Iowa are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. York pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the tray. He gets it to fall. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Gave it up. Try 
tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Center takes the pass. That was a high post screen close to the lane. He pushes it hard up the court. Count it and a foul. That's how he likes it, baby. With the free one. It's good. They scored eight in a row. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the outside. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. They work it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The small forward gets the pass. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Here's one for the highlight reel. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Gave it up. The power forward takes the feed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There he is. Strips the ball loose. They move it into the front court. Number 21 takes it away. Number 21 is emotionally pumped up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the freebie. Makes the first shot. This one might have been over before it started, Dick. Yeah, it's been one-sided so far. Still plenty of time left, though. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. He does the sweet fake shot. And now they'll bring it up. Stolen away. Now on the break. High 
post flasher is open. From three-point land. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Double team now, bad angle. He strips him clean. Gave it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. On the dribble. Gives it up. Look at that spacing. He takes a three, off the rim, and no good. He looks for the bomb. He shows the sweet touch. High post screen. Looking for the foul. The lay -in. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He pump fakes. Gets it back out. Up and inside! Top of the circle. Sinks it. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They'll work it around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. Fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. A little frustration right there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. post player flashing ten seconds to put up a shot that was really a non 
nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. On the top of the circle, he buries the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He nails the bucket. And he'll kick it back outside. The fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Wayne pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. him up he buries it and he doesn't miss that opportunity either gave it up turns it over on the dribble gives it up Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. They work the perimeter. Leans in. He drains it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Way off target. Goes. goes with a jump hook. The Hawkeyes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Fake. Here's a double team. Got a wide open look. Gets it to go. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Iowa are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He's got a nice shot fake. Nice fake. 
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And in and out. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He puts it up there. Bounces off. And the ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. At the end of the first half, the Hawkeyes trail by 17. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Iowa turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and playing silly, if you ask me. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Great play to take that to the basket. The Tigers are ahead by 19. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Ten seconds on the clock. Good fake. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Step out on that screener. Jumps into the defender. He took the defender into the screen, but couldn't get the inside shot to drop. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The Hawkeyes are behind by 19. The small forward handles the feed. Tries for two. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Takes the pass in the paint. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Entry pass in the paint. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Steals a pass. They'll work it around the arc. Takes the shot. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. The pop. He blocks the shot. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. 
They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Steals the pass. Long pass down court. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and in. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Intercepted. Shoots it. Knocks it down. Picked out of the air. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. Stanley goes to the line for the first time. Misses the free walk. Poe receives the ball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. In the paint. Stolen ball. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Steals the ball. The shooting guard receives the pass. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. The Tigers are ahead by 13. The ball goes out of bounds. There's the trap. Here they come now on a turnover. Tries for two. Makes it. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Pull-up jumper from way out. Iowa have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Moving it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. 
Takes it off him. Fast break opportunity here. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. They work it back to the outside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great shot. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. The lay -in. He shoots from the top of the key. Got it. There they come with a double team to stop it. He tries the three ball. He makes the shot. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gave it up. They come the other way for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. The Tigers are up by 10. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. out of bounds let's go courtside what do you got for us Aaron well Brad down here on the sidelines both coaches are harping at their players telling them it's all about the little things take care of the ball take quality shots the action and intensity has really picked up down here guys everyone wants to see a great finish takes away the pass Gave it up. Yeah, 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great defense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He buries it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Perfectly executed. Spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it. Watch here. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This one might go down to the final buzzer. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. There's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts you can play hot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Picks off the pass. Pushes it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gets the rejection, and the ball goes out of play. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. The Tigers are frustrated. They better be careful, or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Nick. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. For two... Great play to take that to the basket. Shots there if he wants it. He takes the shot. Iowa are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He hits the shot. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Rims out. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. The Hawkeyes are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For the bucket, tickles the twine. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Steal. Fast break possibility coming. Sinks it. Let's see the replay on that one. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. Defense has really stepped up. They take it over the tempo very nicely. Gets the rejection. Strips the ball. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. It's stolen. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Aaron's right about that. Let's get ready to resume the action. Go back in front by two. They work the perimeter. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He puts up the tray. Knocks it down. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Perfectly executed.
That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Well, Nick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get blown by Goya. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Tigers played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestle, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.